started late collecting. I didn't stalk till I was about three years old. <laughs> and uh, I can't think of a single thing that hasn't been, I mean, from starting with bottle tops and ending up uh, living in Japan and collecting well, sta stamps, stamps and uh, coins and living what about, in Japan. Wait, wait, what about baseball cards? Baseball cards. Now here, I, on the other hand, the notion of collecting, it, it makes me anxious. I mean, I, 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 the idea of possessions and the responsibility of possessions are totally horrifying. I do think that there's such a thing as a collector gene. I, no, I, I, I didn't have it because I, I, you know, I grew up in the don't, very... Don't believe Mary. I mean, she, she <laughs> pretends this, but, but, but know, every piece we ever buy is actually the three of us, our son Jason, Mary, and I. Well, I, I, I'm not giving up the collecting. I'm just saying the... The, the instinct to the collect. The instinct. Collecting doesn't frighten me because I'm really irresponsible. <laughs> and so that Mary is really the one that's more responsible after after we you know to, to how to deal with it we we choose everything together but i kind of have a short-term memory loss that once we have it i said okay Merit, what should we do with this bloody thing you know and she's good well at it's that sort of it's thing. a it's not it's a uh, it evolves. What this allows us to do is to be selfish, to live with the art. You can talk about art all you want, but when you actually are in the presence of it and the pieces compel you, as good art does, it is a source of constant inspiration. You're in our library, which actually acts as the intersection between our private and public life. This is a library with approximately 40,000 volumes of, of art books, and uh, it's open to the public, but it's also where we walk between our residence and the collection, which is pu totally public. And also at night we can come down stock nude and research <laughs> whatever we want to research. The, you, you've heard of the Naked Chef in London, right? This is the Naked Collectors. <laughs> We're showing the work of 28 Chinese artists. The vast majority were artists born after 1980. The vast majority have never been seen here in the States. To travel to a culture which is alien to where you are and, and start that as a learning curve was just phenomenal. I mean, we went to China probably six times in the last three years alone, and we've been going there since 2001. So there was a new generation for me. In a way, the earlier generation that we were all familiar with, the Fang Lujun, the Yu Min Jin, the uh, Kai Kai Kuang, it was almost like they were making art for the West. And in this new generation, they were absolutely concerned about China and China's issues. And it was a time that China itself was coming into its own, so that there was a tremendous national pride that was going. The house that we built, we built as a playground for adults and grandchildren, <laughs> so that uh, we have very few bedrooms, just enough to accommodate us and our grandchildren, but the rest of the house is concerned with activities. Well, it's like cooking, uh, swimming, and, and playing tennis. tennis. <laughs> so, <laughs> the code of our relationship is that we just simply do not buy anything that we don't agree on. Actually, I once bought a piece without <laughs> discussing it with Mary and Jason, and, and they made my life so miserable that for the only time in our life, I went to the gallerist and I said, you know, you're gonna have to take this piece back or I'm gonna have to get divorced. I mean, there was just no alternative.